way too long today, so. Ow! <gasps> no! Oh, that's exactly how I feel today. <laughs> Let's get into the video. <sighs> One of these days I'm gonna stop being a spaz, but apparently today is not the day. <laughs> what is up guys? Welcome back to Hobby Bowl. My name is Skylar and let's just get right into our build. New Gundam, as you guys saw from yesterday, or if you haven't seen the video, go ahead and check it out. I've been working on New Gundam. If you are new here, if you are new, hello, hi, how are you doing? Hello there. We are working on New Gundam here and yesterday we got to, oh, I gotta remember. <laughs> we got to the actual backpack unit here and we have his weapons as well. I already put it on the back here. So we have his weapons and you just slide it right back onto his backpack. His backpack is done. And then we got his shield. Uh, we are not doing decals because we're just trying to get the snap built in time for New Year. I got held up at work today and so it is fairly late right now. So I'm kind of worried that we're not gonna be able to do the arms, but I promise you we will get the funnels done at least and then I'm gonna get a head start on the arms. Funnels are a very big part of all of Gundam and specifically for new Gundam. So these funnels, I'm expecting to be huge on this kit because he's already a chunky boy. So if that is the case, tomorrow would be the last day that I'm uploading for what, 32 days in a row? My goodness. <laughs> Let us just build this boy and see how far we get. Let's go.
Are you kidding me? D what? 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 Are you kidding me? You know what? Hold on, let me grab Sazabi so you can tell. But like, I mean, I don't know. I feel like you guys can tell fairly well. I am really impressed with like how heavy duty this actually is. I was anticipating it to be like wonky and whatever. Um, as anticipated, I was not able to get to the arms. I was, I did, I did get a little bit ahead. Just, like the shoulders are started, but I just don't have enough time to do the build and I wanna make sure that I take the time. Plus also check this out, check this out. Right here is gonna be a bunch of screws and the actual shoulder joints and everything like that. Um, also, I was warned that the legs are kind of janky and they're kind of finicky. So I anticipate tomorrow <laughs> to be the most difficult of all the days in terms of trying to get it done. Well, first of all, go to work, try and get it all done in time for New Year's. So, and then edit it and then upload it. So, <laughs> wish me luck. We're, 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 we're doing it! We are going to try the inevitable. Now, you know, that sounds so dramatic. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> but I myself would like to have new done by the new year. And then he would literally be my 2020 New Year Gundam. Which, you know what? After this year, I think we need a little trophy, right? And I feel like what better trophy than this chonky, adorable boy? Let me grab Sazabi really quick. I got so sidetracked. I am mesmerized by this. Uh, the funnels actually move. As I, sh I showed you guys in the footage there, but the funnels move. You can uh, move them around. They have these two little plastic pieces that come out that connect them together. And as you can tell, like the hold is pretty good. The hold is pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it for how old this kit is. But <gasps> I love it so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta be careful. Sazabi, uh, I had intended on enjoying him for a while and then like taking off all of his decals and getting better decals and painting him. So he's kind of a hand grenade. This is the Sazabi Verka. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I featured it on my account, my Instagram, everywhere so many times. I, I, am, I am a lover of this suit. It is amazing, it's beautiful, and a lot of the times if someone's a little bit more advanced, I, I always suggest this kit. This is always my go-to for most people if they have some sort of experience in building. Honestly, I suggest it to everyone because at the end of the day, you wanna build a suit that you really like, and if you wanna go ahead and take the time to do it, it's not impossible to do this, but I don't know. That's my little rambling on my Sazabi here because he is very cool. I am putting a lot of faith in my hands right now because this is not, with, with my track record of how I like to drop things, this is, this is not, this is not, <laughs> this is not good. But here, before I drop something and before something jumps off of Sazabi here, look at the difference here. Uh, I am going to, at the end, and if it's not this year, at least next year, I'm gonna definitely do like a full-fledged review on him, especially when we start to do other stuff to it, but like, they're gonna look sweet together. Cause right now I just have the SD new Gundam next to this. It looks kind of ridiculous, but I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to put the funnels and how big this chunky boy is. If you guys know how big the Sazabi is, you can tell exactly how big this new Gundam is. I don't know why, like everyone, everyone keeps saying it. Um, it doesn't seem like it would be that big, but it it's a pretty, pretty big looking kit. It reminds me kind of Hama Hama. Once you build Hamahama, you're like, holy crap, this guy is huge. But let me put Sazabi down before uh, he implodes because I have a feeling he's about to. Instead of the crystal ball drop, it'd be the Sazabi drop off of his shell. <gasps> I would cry. It's a New Year's miracle. I don't know how the heck it didn't drop anything. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be putting more pictures of him up on my Instagram, definitely, if you guys wanna look a little bit better. I'm trying to get better at speed build, so I hope my footage was good enough. I did this in a rush and I'm just, I'm trying, I'm trying. But thank you guys as always for watching. I cannot wait to get his arms done and his legs done. I, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can make it. I'm hoping that tomorrow with my last video of the year that we can say we finish new. Anyways, thank you guys as always for watching. I will see you tomorrow where we are doing arm and leg day. Something I don't usually advocate for, but you know what? It could be fun. All right, guys. Thank you so, so, so much. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Way too long today, so...